I'm just finishing a drawing. It's a bullock cart um, coming up uh, from the front angle on the road and with a lot of lush greenery around. The exercise is mainly about the brushwork, how our calligraphic positive brushwork stroke can also be very suggestive and uh, the way the watercolor demands the brushwork to be. So initially I am creating just the light and shadow, shadow on the bullocks. Uh, that ultramarine was cool now, adding a little warm to it. And leaving the white bright lit side of the bullock, I am just covering everything else with a variegated wash, if you notice. So there is no sharp edge except for that light and shadow portion on the bullock. Everything is blur and uh, my intention that my brushwork will pull everything together. So these are little wet in wet effects but they are not, I mean uh, essentially there, there shouldn't be any sharp edge. That is what the intention is. This is a typical scene from the coastal side of Maharashtra which is called as Kokan. Uh, if any one of you have seen it, you will <laughs> immediately recognize it. Uh, it's usually the roads are muddy, I mean it's a red, uh, very reddish uh, looking soil over there and the entire palm lush green around. with little sap green turns into nicer brown and now the brushwork begins the dark things I'm just giving the indication of the eyes the nose ears and whatever details I want to do after that uh, these are the horns but there is no wash or anything if you see everything is just like a dot or a very small shape giving a definition to the um, wash which is underneath actually. This is like a superimposed brushwork on top of the variegated wash. Smaller accents here and there. Except for leaving the highlights with the, uh, I mean I'm very careful in leaving the highlights and also the strokes have to be in the accurate position but I'm not rendering the stroke with a labored this thing they are free in nature only thing their position is accurate now the bullock cart already looks like convincingly finished The sides I'm not very happy doing since the cart is looking so nice just by itself. But then when, uh, we can't leave it just like that, we have to finish the painting. Unless it was intended to be a sketch. 
now if you notice there are some of the leftover areas like subtracted areas of the highlights the rest is again I am trying not to create a very sharp line or a very sharp indication of anything which will take the attention away from the card so more or less my intention is to create everything that will support the center of attraction which is the two bullocks coming towards us little sprinkle is very handy many a times now these are the trees in the background the central portion I want to create a depth and two sides are much closer than the so that uh, the aerial depth also helps in creating a perspective This is essentially a variegated wash you can say. Only thing I am using little brush strokes to create a variety of uh, areas. But ultimately it is just one go. So it's a blended wash you can almost imagine. I always think of brushwork as uh, almost uh, very similar to dancing uh, that if your brush is really dancing on the floor on the sheet of paper where you are painting it naturally creates a harmonized uh, something that will help you lead the eye So my point is here uh, that I don't think of a very small area when I'm doing a brushwork. I'm thinking of the entire paper and I want to move around the entire paper all the time so that it has a very homogeneous effect and unifiedly it creates a statement that we are trying to say. If you are too concerned about brushwork in certain parts then your attention is only on that part and there are chances that it might not be homogeneous later on so it is a very it is a good idea to be concerned about the whole paper all the time and once you um, try to do it it's also another it's very interesting to think of everything and not think of one thing i like to think of painting like a music uh, I mean, to give it an analogy of music, uh, painting is like a musical harmony, like no single element is important just by itself, but what it contributes to the whole thing is always important. And when you think this way, uh, it becomes very easy to keep a very homogeneous brushwork. So this is like a harmony of music, not a singular melody that you're creating. Now a little critical part of when to stop the painting but since I intend to complete the exercise in terms of brushwork how brushwork really contributes or uh, defines the painting pulls the painting together so I'm just continuing
that's it the end